And welcome to Sculpt. So all you're gonna need today is a set of light hand weights. Ankle weights are optional. Uh, whenever you're ready, we're just gonna take it down into a squat and up. So we'll start standing. We're gonna get nice and warm through the lower body. Then we have our plank challenge. We've got some upper body work. We'll finish with glutes and core. So lots of good stuff coming your way. Again, light hand weights, one, twos, or threes. Ankle weights will be optional if you wanna add that in. Take one more, hold at the bottom, little pulse. So sit your hips back like you're sitting onto a chair, loading up through the entire foot, chest is lifted. Make sure you're driving those knees out rather than letting them collapse in. Three, two, press to the feet to come up, fist to fist, little torso twist. Firing up through that thoracic spine, getting the core nice and ready. Draw that navel in towards the spine. Three, we're gonna do the same thing with the squats, but this time it'll be more of a plie. So turn the feet out, down and up. Big reach overhead, push the knees out and back. Two more, we're gonna hold it down and pulse just like we did with the regular squat. Find it at the bottom, little pulse. So again, knees are driving out, planting through the heel of the foot, but making sure the entire foot is connected with the floor. Chest is lifted, can you drop your hips a little bit more? Three, two, one, straighten up, fold over your right leg. Take a breath. Walk it over to the other side. Nice deep stretch that back leg. Come back through center, bend your knees generously, roll it up, back from the top, regular parallel squats, all 10 toes facing forward. Sitting the hips back like you're sitting into that chair. Draw the navel in towards the spine, super strong through the core. One more, we're gonna hold it down, little tiny pulse. So again, sit the hips back, lift through the chest, drive the knees out. Nice job, stay with it. All right, we're going right into the plie. So as you press up, turn the feet out, down and up. So going from quads right into inner thighs. Full range to begin. And then we'll come right back into those pulses. Two more. Hold it down and pulse. Firing up the inseam of the leg. Keep that chest nice and lifted. Try not to fold forward. Keep everything open, take up space. All right, stay four, three, Two, press to the feet. Final round, thoracic twist. All right, in just a moment, we're gonna come right into our plank challenge. <laughs> so feel free to adapt. You can always do the plank challenge at the wall if that feels more accessible, or we're gonna take it to the floor. Three, two, one, and fold over the center of your body. Take a nice deep breath in your forward fold, and then meet me in a downward facing dog. All right, we're just gonna flow here, down dog to plank. So pull the navel in towards the spine, ripple forward to your plank, push back into your down dog. Ripple forward plank, push back. So really let this orient from the arms. Imagine your hands pulling you forward and then pushing you back. Pulling you forward and then pushing you back. The next time you come into your plank, hold. Super slow climber, right knee and then left. So if you're doing this at the wall, it's the exact same thing. Hands in line with shoulders. So we're pushing into the arms with this. Two more. Last one. Hold. Feet come together. We're going to twist the hips. So, and the only thing that's really twisting is from the hips to the feet. Like you're trying to shine your belly button to the side wall. Four. Three. Two. Keep the feet together, hips are center. Rock it forward and back. You're pushing off the toes. Shoulders are coming towards the fingers behind the wrist. Stay with it, three. Back to the slow climbers. Right to right. Right knee, right arm. Left knee, left arm. So as you're pushing here, I want you to focus on your hands. So push the floor away. You feel your shoulder blades pull away from your spine a little bit. So you're really strong and have that integrity through the upper body. One more, feet come together. Again, hip twist, just the lower part of your body. Keep your chest and your shoulders square to the floor. 
Try not to pike your hips up either. See if you can keep your hips in line with your shoulders the entire time. So make sure we're not in that down dog position, but you're in a really strong plank here. Hold it center, rockers forward and back. Navel drawing up and towards the spine, press the floor away. A little bit of rounding through the upper back. Two more, we're gonna take it into knee drops. Hold, tap the floor with the knees, pick them up. Tap, lift, tap, lift. Really strong here, four, three, two. Lower your right knee only, open up side plank, right knee down, left leg stays nice and long. Supported side plank. Stay really strong. Come back through center. Pick up your right knee. Lower your left knee. Open up towards the left side. Knee down side plank supported. Take a deep breath. We're going to take this into a high plank with shoulder taps. Focus on the control without swinging side to side. Come back through your big plank. Feet about hip distance apart. Tap. So it's a plank challenge for a reason. Hopefully starting to feel fatigued, challenged, core, arms, everything is working here. Really strong. Let's go six, four, three, two, one. Hold your plank, stick your landing, hold, hold, hold. All right, we're gonna take it down onto the form. So lower your right elbow down, left elbow down, back to those plank walkers. So walk your feet together. Elbows a little closer together than shoulder distance. Forward and back, navel into the spine. So you really want to find here, keep going, you really want to find this push off from the ball of the foot. So it's like you're rolling onto the tippy tippy toes, back to the ball of the foot. Roll onto the tippy toes, back to the ball of the foot. Stay with it. Three, almost there. Two, and done. Release. Nice job, plank challenge, check and done. <laughs> All right, grab your light hand weights and come to a standing position. So I'm using three pound weights. I wouldn't go heavier than five, <laughs> but it's your workout, make it your own if you want. <laughs> so we're gonna have three sets here. So have your light hand weights. I recommend one, twos or threes. Again, five at most. So roll your shoulders down and back. Imagine you're kind of like squeezing your spine with your shoulder blades. Shoulder heads are relaxed. So palms are facing each other. We're gonna take it up. We're gonna row it, elbows stay high, extend and lower. So it's a front raise, a row, an extension and a lower. Lift, draw, extend and lower. Up, row, keep your elbows high. Feel those shoulder blades squeezing in towards your spine. Shoulder heads stay relaxed down away from the ears. All right, we're just doing the row. Hold it up. Eight. Nice and slow. Seven. Six. So feel your shoulder blades pull away, pull together, pull away, pull together. Two more. We're going to hold it out straight. We have a little tiny pulse. Up. Sixteen. Soften through the shoulder heads. Try not to shrug it. You got it. Whoo, shoulders on fire. Doesn't take much. All right, whole sequence again. Down, up, row, out, and down. Same thing, we're gonna do it two more times. So our focus here is upper back and shoulders, but hopefully feeling a little bit of biceps as an accessory. Now make sure on the row too, the elbows are staying high. So we don't wanna row with the elbows low, that's not really doing much. We wanna keep the elbows high as we row. Even three pounds is heavy, so if you picked five, woohoo! <laughs> All right, just the row. Elbows high. Stay with it. I know it's tough. My shoulders are screaming at me. <laughs> so again, for the rows, make sure you're focusing on the shoulder retraction, protraction, retract, protract. Now I'm exaggerating that for the camera, but so you have that idea of what it should feel like on the row. Hold the arms out, 16 pulses. Straight arms. All right, we have one more round. Eight, six, five, four, three, two. Lower it down. We go up, row, extend, and lower. Elbows stay high. By now, we know it. So now, hopefully, it's burning. <laughs> Arms on fire. Stay with it. Up, in, 
out and down, up, in, out. Just two more, eight rows, and then we've got those pulses. Stay with it, we're almost there. All right, the next time you lift, hold it. We have eight of those rows, eight. Shoulder retraction, protraction, seven. Whew. Five. Oh my gosh, I'm going weightless. Four. <laughs> Three. Stay with it. Two. One. Hold it out straight, little pulse. Up an inch, down an inch. I'm telling you, even without weights, this is killer for the arms. Stay with it. Woo. Five. Four. Three. We're not done. New set. Pull your weights together. Elbows in line with the shoulders. Little pulse up. Woo. Bicep focus. Same exact thing, but just turn so your palms face each other. Weights come apart. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Sandwich the weights together. You're going to take it overhead. Little tricep pulses. Little pulse. Up an inch, down an inch. Hug your elbows around your head. Make sure they're not super wide. Shoulder heads down away from ears. Shoulder blades hugging your spine. Four, three, two. Keep everything together. Bring it back in front. Little pulse. Palms still facing each other. Weights sandwiched together. Five, four, three, two. Take the weights apart. Eight. Bicep focus. You got this. Four, three, two. Two, sandwich them together, overhead, tricep pulse. Whoo! <laughs> you got it, stay in the pulse, stay in the pulse, stay in the pulse. Target those triceps. All right, one more round of this here, biceps and triceps. Get ready, four, three, keep the weights together, elbows bend right in front of you. We pulse, bicep, tricep focus. Three pound weights feels like 50. <laughs> Stay in it, stay in it. Ow! Oh my gosh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, pull the hands apart, but keep the pulse. Little tiny but shoulders and biceps. Three, two, sandwich it together. Overhead, tricep pulse. Woo! Hug those elbows in. You got this. Stay in it, stay in it, stay in it. Upper back of arms, triceps on fire. Five, four, three. Now listen, we're just gonna hold an isometric hold to finish. <laughs> no movement, muscles engaged, and you're holding. Forearms parallel with the ceiling, you're almost there. Four, three, two, done. <laughs> Upper body, done. Nice job. All right, grab some water, whatever you need. Now, here's your opportunity if you want to level up to grab your ankle weights. So I'm going to leave that up to you. I'll give you a minute to put them on if you'd like to add them. Uh, my ankle weights are one pound, so not super heavy, but it's going to get into the glutes a lot. <laughs> but again, ankle weights can go all the way up. I think maybe even five pounds, but you do you. <laughs> okay, so... We are going to be a little bit on the forearm, so if you're on a hard surface, you don't have a mat, grab a towel or something just to support the elbows to give them some extra padding. You can also stay up on the hands if that feels more comfortable for you. So on the hands, we'll have a little bit more range of motion. The muscle heads can be a little longer. If we come onto the forearms, it makes it a little bit more accessible. So you do you. Right knee down, left leg comes back. Rotate your left hip open a little bit, lower and lift. So the left hip is slightly open rather than square towards the floor. But my torso, my chest, my shoulders are square to the floor. So just like we practice in our, in our plank twists, there's that little bit of rotation in the hips, but everything else stays square to the floor. We're gonna hold that leg up, flex your foot hard, dorsiflex, toes to shin, little pulse, pulse. Now, if you notice the weight is really leaning into the right side a lot, can you even the weight between the left hand and right hand? So the weight in the upper body is staying even. Full dorsiflex that left foot, toes to shin, push through the heel. Little pulse, little pulse. Nice job, stay with it, you got this. Whoo! All right, we're gonna turn this pulse into a circle. So point your toe, plantar flexion, draw little circles with your big toe. So your toes are pointing to the back of your room. 
keep your leg up. Your inner thigh is parallel with the floor. Same exact thing, just reverse your circle, other direction. Nice job, stay in it. Booty on fire. <laughs> One pound ankle weights, killer. <laughs> stay in it, you got this. Three, two, one. Now flex the foot again, dorsiflex. Bend your knee a little bit and push and kick it back. So bend the knee, push the heel. Bend the knee, push the heel. So it's a really small movement here. Just a little bend, like a micro bend in the knee and then a big push through the heel. Keep that navel drawing into your spine. You're really strong through the core here. Left glute on fire. <laughs> Stay in this, you got this. All right, hold that leg out. Now we're gonna tap your left ankle to your right ankle and then kick the leg out. So bend and tap, kick and extend. Bend, tap, kick, extend. Bend, tap, kick, extend. Now staying up on the hands isn't really comfortable, but you wanna stay lifted for more range of motion. Lower just your right forearm. Stay up on the left hand. That'll still allow you to find a bigger range of motion, but you won't probably be dumping into the low back and the wrists won't be getting super tired. You got this, stay in it. Oops. Stay in it, you got this. In and back, in and back. Keep going, in, back. Whew. Keep that left hip slightly rotated out. Glue on fire. <laughs> so if you feel it in your low back more, maybe keep your leg a little lower. So not a huge range of motion but keep the leg a little closer to the floor. We don't want to turn this into a low back back bend. All right, keep the knee bent, lift it up, little pulse, pulse. Ooh. Little pulse with a bent knee. Stay in it, you got this, you got this. Almost there, come on. Ooh, I need a little shake out. <laughs> All right, this is it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Four, three, two. Big sweep. So before we lower, extend your leg. Drop it right behind you. Big arch sweep out towards the side. Big arch sweep behind you. Big arch sweep out towards the side. So four, three, all right, we have about a minute left of work. One more, big arch sweep. <laughs> Hold that leg. Now, if you haven't already, I invite you to lower the right forearm. So we're all together. So I'm on my left hand, my right forearm. Leg is out towards the side. Just lift and lower this left leg. Lift, lower, lift, lower. If you were on both forearms, same thing. Right forearm will stay down. Come up on your left hand though. Lift, lower, straight out to the side. Imagine your leg is in line with your belly button <laughs> out towards the side of your space. <laughs> so you have to engage your obliques a lot to get the leg up that high, but then it's a lot of glutes as you lift and lower that leg. All right, we have just pulses to finish. Hold the leg up, 16, 14. This is it for this side, stay with me. 10, eight, six, four, three, two, release. Child's pose, stretch it out. Nice job. Nice job. <sighs> All right, and we get to do the other side. <laughs> All right, you can stay exactly as you are. I'm just gonna turn around so I have my working leg facing the camera, but you don't have to turn around if you don't want to. <laughs> In your child's pose, rock your hips a little bit side to side, release through the glutes. All right, back on the forearms or on the hands, depending on what feels better for you. Take that leg back behind you. Slight rotation out of the right hip, lower and lift it. So we start with up on the hands, if that feels accessible to you. Right hip slowly, ro slightly rotated out, but belly, chest, shoulders, square to the floor. So the only thing rotated out is the right hip. Down and up, you got this, come on. 
All right, we've got that little tiny pulse. Hold it at the top, little pulse. Imagine you're leading with the pinky edge of your right foot towards the sky. Your foot is dorsiflex, so toes to shin, you're pressing through the heel. You have this nice, long, strong leg. Stay in it, come on. Little pulse, little pulse, little pulse. Woo. All right, eight. We're gonna keep the leg long, point the toe. We've got little circles, four, three, two. Point the foot, little circles. My hip is still slightly rotated out. Woo. My glute is on fire. Now again, keep going with the circles, but if you're feeling this more in your low back than your glute, come down onto the forearms. That's a great alternative or really focus on drawing your navel into your spine to keep the support from the core. Same exact thing, but turn your circle in the other direction. All right, we've got those tiny kicks. So come back to your dorsiflexion, flex the foot, bend, drive the heel, bend, drive the heel. So the leg is still going straight back to the wall behind you. Yes, you got it, come on. Whew, this one gets me. Feel that glue on that right side. Now again, another thing to note, if you're leaning all the way into the left side, can you even the weight out between your right arm and left arm? Keep everything nice and centered. All right, we're gonna do that ankle tap. So keep the knee bent, tap ankle to ankle, extend back behind you. Ankle to ankle, extend back behind you. Keep that hip slightly turned out. And no, you can always lower this left forearm, which helps with the hip rotation if it feels uncomfortable staying up on the hand. We'll all meet there eventually. <laughs> but if you wanna go there early, that's there for you. Whew. Oh my goodness. All right, keep the knee bent, same thing, but lower and lift, this time bent knee. So no kick back, the leg stays bent. Ankle to ankle, lift your bent knee. Ankle to ankle, lift your bent knee. Whew, second side is always so hard. Let's go, eight. Six. Four. Two more. One more, hold it up. Little tiny pulse, pulse. Whew. As much as you can, keep this right hip turned out. So it's not just a traditional like pulsing donkey kick. The hip is slightly turned out, so I'm still leading with the pinky edge of my toe. I'm not leading with the flat foot towards the sky. It's the pinky edge of the foot leading towards the ceiling. Little pulse, 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 pulse. Last eight, six, four, three, two, one. All right, tap back, tap side, lower onto that forearm. So right hand stays up, left forearm comes down. Tap behind you, tap outside your belly button. <laughs> behind, belly button. Behind, belly button. Whew. Four, three, two, one more. We're gonna hold it out to the side. We've got that lift out to the side. So this is our final little bit. Hold it out towards the side. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Oh my God. Stay in it, you got this. Ooh. How high up can you get that leg towards your face? <laughs> so really brace your right obliques to get that leg up further. Not in height, but up your mat. <laughs> All right, in four, we're gonna hold the pulse. Two more. Now I will say, if you're wanting a variation, you're gonna lay on your side body, not your belly. So we still can have that hip rotation. So if you need a variation, lay on your side so you can still have this leg out if staying on the knee didn't feel very good for you. All right, little pulse, this is how we finish. All right, 16, this is it. 14, 12, 10, that's eight, six, four, three, two, and proud pose. Ooh. All right, we have a little bit of core to bring us to the end of our sculpt. Now I'm gonna leave it up to you. You can keep your ankle weights on. <laughs> we 
because we do have some straight leg extensions, which will make it a little bit harder. Or you can bend the legs, or not bend the legs, sorry. You can take the ankle weights off. <laughs> you can also bend the legs, that'll be an alternative. But keep it weighted or not, I'm gonna leave that up to you. I'm gonna keep mine on. We only have a little bit left to sculpt. We are almost there. All right, whenever you're ready, flip it over. Let's come onto our back. All right. All right, basic crunch to begin. So fingertips behind the ears. We're gonna lift up so you feel your head and your upper shoulders come off the mat. And we're just gonna crunch at the top. So not all the way back down towards the floor. Elbows are wide. You can kind of just see them in the periphery. And my fingertips are behind my ear, so I'm not actually pulling on my neck. My upper core and the rectus abdominis, that superficial layer, are doing the work here. My hands are just supporting my neck, giving it a little, a little support. You got this, stay in it. Whew. All right, hold it at the top. Same exact thing, but now we're gonna take the arms away, reaching fingers towards knees, little pulse up. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look down towards the knees. Four, two, one. Same thing, fingertips behind the ears. We repeat, a little crunch up. So when we extend the arms towards the knees, see if you can't lift another inch up, digging deeper into the core. Four, three, two, hold it up, extend the arms, lift another inch, pulse. So everything, my up, my shoulders and my head are off the floor. The only thing touching the floor is the thoracic spine, the ribs, the low back, the hips. Five, four, three, two, hold, squeeze, contract, hold it. You got it. Now keep all of this, bring your right knee into your chest, left knee into your chest, straighten the legs. Lower your legs about 30%, lift them back up. Now if you need to, you can take a hand behind the head for support. You can also place your hands next to your sit bones under your hips, if that gives you a little bit low back support. Whew. Draw that navel towards the spine, stay really strong and powerful here. Variation is bend the knees. Lower and lift. Keep that low back grounded into the floor. Can you lower your legs a little bit more this time? Almost there, four, three, two, hands behind the head. Lift your legs, lift your hips, lower your legs. Lift your legs, lift your hips, lower the legs. Legs, hips, lower. Legs, hips, lower. Legs, hips. Lower, one more. Lift your legs, hold it, release your hands to frame your legs. Pull 16. Last 12, this is how we finish. 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Whew. <laughs> awesome job on your sculpt workout. <laughs>